right, Junior Garcia, how you doing, man? All good, thank God. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got a lot to thank God about, right? We're going to talk yes, about it. You had an injury back in March at Louisiana Downs. Tell me what happened. I had a horse break down with me in March 7th um, in Shreveport and ended up landing on top of me and breaking my lower back, my L3 vertebrae. Oh, wow. So tell me how the injury, you know, how you recovered from it. Because you said you didn't know how bad you were at first. You tried to walk off the track. That didn't work. Tell me how that went. No, uh, well, you know, with the adrenaline rush at, during the races riding, so a uh, horse landed on me and I had to crawl out from under it. And uh, I didn't have no pain, but once I tried to walk, get up and walk off, man, I had a sharp pain in my lower back and I just couldn't walk it. You know, I couldn't walk off by myself. So, you know, I just decided to lay back down and wait for the ambulance to come help me. Now you, you broke the L3 vertebrae, right? And you broke it right through, you showed me the x-ray. Did it kind of scare you when you saw how bad that was? But luckily uh, it didn't hurt your spinal column, right? Yeah, I worried a little bit, you know, because it's your, my back, you know, you never know, be paralyzed with an injury like that. And thank God the, the neurologist there said that, you know, it didn't affect the spinal cord and we didn't need surgery because, you know, it wasn't affecting the spinal cord. And I mean, you've got to thank God Thank God, it, you know, we, we yeah. recovered pretty good. Now, this is only June, so you've come back quick. I know you were in some sort of a cast. Tell me about your recovery. Yeah, uh, they put me in a big back brace, so they didn't uh, want me bending over or twisting to the sides, so it wouldn't affect that bone from moving around. So it was kind of kind of aggravating because I couldn't do much. Frustrating laying around like yeah. that, huh? Now tell me about getting back on a horse. You said you did, and you're pretty tired that first time, weren't you? Yeah, uh, I decided I wasn't gonna gallop anything, but uh, one day Modesto said they had a couple horses to gallop out at the farm, so I was like, well, I'll get on one. You know, one helping them with one won't won't hurt nothing. So I tried. I got on one and galloped, and man, uh, when I got off, my legs were like spaghetti. They were yeah. jello. <laughs> now so, when was that? Uh, it was in. April. Late April? Uh, yeah, it was mid-April. Mid-April, so not even two months ago. Yeah. So then you come back. No, you know, it was in May. It was in May. Yeah. So it was just last uh, Yeah, month, yeah, it was really. in May before coming down here. Wow. So then you come to Delta, you're a little late, didn't, weren't here on opening day, but you've shot up the standings now in your second. Could you ask for anything better? No, you know, thank God we were, I was able to come back and you know, come back from my injury. So, you know, and coming here and did really good the first race days and winning eight races, you know, I couldn't ask for nothing more. Already second in the standings, even after a slow start. One of the reasons is trainer Trey Ellis, right? Tell me about him and your relationship with him. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I helped, I started helping him last year in Shreveport, really helping him with his barn. Cause I had helped him years before, but never got to ride for him. But last year I started helping him and he started giving me mounts and you know, after our injury, um, you know, when we had our injury, he he said, you know, hey, you know, if you need anything, we're here. Um, when you get back, you know, your your barn is your barn. So, you know, and there's not too many trainers like that out there. So, that, that loyalty thank him a is bunch. that loyalty is great, isn't it? Yes, sir. He, now, and you were a big part of his success here last year, winning the Delta title and the Evangeline title. He's back on top here again, isn't he? Yes, sir. We now, had a good meet last year. People that don't know, you're from Texas, right? Yes. And uh, you have other family members in the business. Tell us about Wendy Garcia, your sister. Yes, Wendy is my sister and uh, my brother-in-law Modesto, who's a rider. Modesto he, Pena? Yes, sir. He got hurt um, a month after I did in April. He had a horse breakdown and uh, had a shoulder separation. Wow. You know, it's, it's a tough business, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're doing well now. You're up in the standings. We just want you to stay safe and have a great meet, okay? Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, Junior. All righty.